It looks like you had to be a little creative with that. Yeah. The trees were beautiful and green when we arrived. Here is the culprit. Putting rails together and mount our solar panels up on the structure. Welcome back to the solar array where progress has resumed after a few days of questionable weather and mundane errands like going to get driver's licenses. We have been really happy with our stairs on the entryway to the Bigfoot. I just wanted to talk about how they're a little bit difficult for one member of the family, and that is Dharma, who's a little bit too small and a little bit too old to safely make it down these stairs. So we had been grabbing him under the armpits and lifting him in and out of the trailer, but fortunately we have found a better solution. Brackets that will hold the rails. It looks like you had to be a little creative with that. Yeah, the round U bolts don't go around a square pole very well. So I'm having to put some holes and round it out a little bit. We found a shoe storage hack online. The bottom net will hopefully work year round and the top net will likely have to be removed in the winter because it's covering a heat vent. All right, so we're putting up rails for the solar system. Got all the brackets put on the uprights and I'm in the process of putting on rails. Now I'm just eyeballing them, putting them at the approximate same length at the bottom here, and then tighten them up finger tight. And then when I'm all done getting them up there finger tight, I'll go back and run a string line from one end to the other to make all the rails the same length. Charles has all the rails up. He would love to finish putting the panels on today, but he actually needs to get the borrowed trailer back to a friend, so he's going to unload the shed materials instead and come back to the solar panels on another day. Ready to build the, what I'm calling the solar shed. It's going to be for storage as well, but that's where all the solar equipment is going to go. Batteries and inverter. So we'll just route all the 
electrical over from the solar array into this building and this is where it'll be housed. And I'm just getting started, basically putting in some blocks. It's going to be on skids, so at some point in the future it may get moved. Guess where I am? In the cargo trailer, looking for a few kitchen items. And aside from the frustration of not being able to find things, it has happened very quickly. Let me show you our first casualty in the cargo trailer. This used to be a newish bath towel and it has now been made into a nest for a rodent. We are unsure exactly how rodents got in here, but I knew they would sooner or later. I just didn't think it would be within a few weeks. I'm sorry I didn't get that on film. The rodent has identified itself. It is a little deer mouse. It ran away from the box as I was unpacking it. While we were talking about frustrations, Let's talk about why these trees don't have any leaves. It's June now. The trees were beautiful and green when we arrived. Here is the culprit. These are called spongy moth caterpillars. Until recently they were known as gypsy moths. I hope you can hear the sound, a bit like rain in the forest here. I'm sorry to say that's the sound of caterpillar droppings coming through the trees. Getting ready to start mounting solar panels under the racking. So we've got little end clamps down here. And this panel will sit right down on that and we'll tighten down. I know this looks easy on the time lapse, so I just wanted to show in real time what it looks like to pick up these solar panels and heave them onto the rails overhead.
What you got going on here, Charles? Continuing work on the shed. Getting ready to work more on the roof. Here is the link between these two ongoing projects. Under the driveway, we have conduit for the wires that will run between the solar array and the equipment shed, and plumbing for the rainwater collected off the solar panels. <laughs> 